Denison Mines is an intermediate North American uranium producer. We have operations in Canada and the United States and also projects in Mongolia and Australia and we're in the middle of an acquisition of a project in Zambia. What are your next steps? Next steps are we want to increase our production both in Canada and the U.S. and then bring on our projects to do into production in both Mongolia and Africa. Why so many different countries? Africa, Mongolia, Australia, America, do you like planes? I love being on an airplane actually and uh, really why so many countries is diversity. Not only for our shareholders because that gives them some diversity and where our primary production is in North America which obviously is a very stable uh, political and regulatory environment but also uh, for the utilities, our customers. The customers like to have their uranium sourced from different areas around the world. They're just like shareholders so that's, that's why we're diversified like that. How do you deal with all those different governments on those different continents like Africa and Mongolia to make sure you're welcome and your production is sustainable? That is, that is a key component of our business, especially with uranium. Uranium is a very political commodity and so it's a very big part of our business and that's one of my largest roles as well as uh, Peter Farmer, our chief executive officer. We spend a lot of our time working with the government and, the, and our regulators to ensure that they're comfortable with what we're doing and that they have the trust in us that we're doing the best from an environmental stewardship. It is one of the most regulated commodities in the world so we have to have very good relationships with the government. Why do you believe the world needs uranium and will need in the future? Nuclear power is our lowest cost power in the United States. Worldwide it is one of the lowest cost powers, but more so what's really driving uranium now is global warming. Not only is it low cost, but it produces no greenhouse gas emissions, and therefore it is one of the key components to us moving forward to modify countries' energy policy in order to meet their greenhouse gas emissions. What is your personal qualification for this business? I like to have fun, I guess. It's a, I enjoy challenges. Uh, I've been in the mining business for over 25 years and primarily in other commodities. I've actually only been in the uranium business since 1999, so I'm relatively new to this business. And I think the experience in other commodities is a real asset to, uh, to bring to uranium. Is the mining business a drug? It is. It really is. It's a very good question. It, it is, uh, I've spoken to many friends and it has a tremendous amount of pitfalls and challenges and we question why we continue to do this. Uh, but it is. It is very, it can be very invigorating when things go well.